Size matters. Today I'm going to show you a small feature to get the most out of your long bar. Feeder. Everybody wants the longest bar feeder they can get in their shop. They come with efficiency improvements and cost savings. But if you abuse them, you can mitigate all of that and lose it. If you look in here at these red channels, these are stabilizers for your material. Again, this is a 12 foot bar loader. Longer the bar, the more droop you're gonna get as it's coming out of the machine. The more droop, the more whip as it rotates, and the more whip, the more you're gonna send vibrations back to your cutting tools. You're gonna result in possibly having bad parts, bad finishes, losing all of your cost savings that we got from getting the bar loader in the first place. These channels work with oil that fills inside of them creates a hydrodynamic area so that it dampens the vibration and the whip from the material as it feeds into the machine. But these channels are not one size fits all. We happen to be standing at an A32 machine, meaning it can hold 32 millimeter diameter material. Would not be uncommon in our shop to try and run 5 8 material through this. That's gonna leave a lot of space between that material and these channels and really push that fluid to its limits as it's trying to dampen all the vibration and rotation. Good example, material we're running right now over on the L32, it's running 5 8 material. So what you can do, you can swap these channels out and they come in different sizes. What we've done over there is we went from our 32 millimeter size to a 3 quarter inch. And that 3 quarter inch holds onto that 5 8 material a heck of a lot better, reduces noise, reduces whip, and ultimately makes better parts. So pay attention to your guide channels. There's no excuse, you can swap these out yourself. And as always, if you continue to experience issues with your long bar for more than four hours, consult a technician.